welcome back to Jeff Queen and get live on this Inspiration Thursday. What a guest we have with us today. This is definitely an oh my, what my moment. Because when 79, almost 80 year old Joe Kadenge shows up, what a legend, what a humble man, what a patriotic Kenyan. Suffering, ailing the last few months and years from everything from diabetes to high blood pressure. Cannot even drive his taxi anymore, which was his only source of income. We're putting his number up for all those lovely Kenyans who like to help because we have the gift of giving. 0722-771-521 is his number. You know what to do. Joe needs our help. Joe, could, and your tweets. I love your tweets. They're great. Joe, you should. At a Twitter hook. Okay. Uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Peters Nyakundia Nauliza, what advice does Joe have to give to the national team in the expansion of the league from 16 to 18? Joe? Uh, Joe, no comment? The comment is that it was too late to decide on how many teams to, to play in the league this year. It would have been, to me, it would have been better if 18 teams were for the, for the coming season, not yeah. this one. Yeah. This one, they should, it was too soon to say that we want to change from 16 to 18. Mm. Yeah, it, I'm not against it, but it, is, it was too soon. They should also inform people in advance that next year, we are going to have 18 teams. So that's what uh, my suggestion will be. Yeah. Mm. Carol Williams says, just like Joe Kadenge has said, let us love our country a little bit more. Kapiro Mwangi says, I am supporting Joe Kadenge with something. Mr. President, have you heard the language of our great legend? A lot of you are asking the president to have a dialogue with, with a FaceTime with the man who is not on Facebook. Nyakeo Kambi is saying, yes, Joe Kadenge is so humble. It's a challenge to the young generation. What advice do you have for, for the young generation, Joe? Because if there's someone who is youthful right now watching you and they, they think they have the skills to make it in this sport, they're not going to do it here. They're going to run to Europe. Run like a bat out of hell, Joe. What advice do you give them? You see, Jeff, we have forgotten our, our youngsters. The people always look at those pe ready-made materials. They don't start from the, the grassroots. Our boys, even if you go to Madare where people, will, you will find them playing football into the funny, funny grass. If we had time, we, ha we get grounds for them where they can be training every time and then I advise my our kids our kids if I tell you since I was born I've never taken liquor I've not ever no ever hold on, Joe, hold, on, hold on people want to see your eyes Joe they're complaining they can't see you okay good okay okay j j or I leave this one. Oh my let them see that oh my place. Put it down, Joe. Yeah. Put the hat What's down. Wrong? Yes. That's Joe the legend. So they can see this head. Hmm? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> uh, uh. But I love putting on her head. Yeah, yeah. Too Good. Okay. I but you don't, you know, for now, I can okay. be like this. You were saying you never touched alcohol in your life? I've never. And probably this is what has kept me, you know, with good health. Yes. Hmm. But what I was squeezed when I was leg, when I put on your knee and so on. You know, somebody says, okay, I'm buying you two, two beers because you played very well. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, okay, I'm giving you this, you go and buy food for yourself, but not provide pombe for them. Yeah. There was one time I was invited in Mombasa. There was a big func uh, function of youth tournament. So I was invited by the officials of Mombasa. I went there. And then I went, I was guest of honor, I went to, to, to attend the match. And we had big crowds, Likoni, 
Nikoni. Mm -hmm. A big crowd. Yeah. And then I, I talk to the kids. You know, I ask them how many kids around you who drink or who smoke. Don't be afraid. If you are smoking, drinking, don't, don't refuse to tell me how many. And they carried hands. Probably most of them. It was most of them. A few of them said they did not, not drink, but most of them carried their hands and said, we, don't, we always drink. Hmm. Why do you drink? Because we don't have, we have nothing to do. We have nothing to do. Yeah. So I was thinking, if these guys had grounds where they play football, some people donate football to these grandchildren to play football, it would have been better. But they don't have. They say we have got nothing to do. Yeah. So we go and look for kitu ya kuvunja kidogo kidogo mze. Now from today, if I ask you, because me I've never, and you see how I'm old, I'm now 79, and you, you are only 20, will you reach it at my age? They say we cannot reach. No. So please from today, don't drink, don't smoke. Yeah. And the kids listen to me. And then I said, oh, next time I come here, I'll check how many people left drinking. You know, I went, th they also called me after that, after about a month, I was, I was called again. There was a, another tournament again. Mm -hmm. Then I talked to the kids. They told me, Babu, they were calling me now Babu. Mm -hmm. Babu, we have stopped because the official of Mombasa, Twaha, now bought a lot of balls to give to the kids wow. to be playing. And then, when I went there, I asked them, how many people have left drinking? They said, we have lived. I was very proud to hear. It's wow. Wow. It's our babu. 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 It's our if I'm invited, if, mm. I, if I'm invited, if you invite me, mm. why not not to come? Yeah. I'll come and talk to them. Yes. At least they will listen to me. They will. Because I play football, I've not drunk. So if I say, don't drink, me, I'd never. Different. Let's drink. Don't, let let live drinking. Yeah. Kids will listen to me. Hmm? Kids will listen. There's no doubt about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But if you invite me, why not, Jeff? We're going to do it. But do you have... Uh, grounds for kids to be playing football. Apa kambu? Yeah, muna viwanja kwe. Aye. Muna viwanja kwe. So muni chukua yote muni jiangua muni yakuwa viwanja yote. Mejenga maduka nyumba kira kitu watoto watacheze wa vimpira. Hmm. Fio ni tabu. Fio ni tabu. We enda Jericho. Tuvuga ni viwanja huko Island. Yeah. Nyingi sana. Watoto walikuwa na cheza. Kwa hari member wakati ni kuwa na cheza miaka ya sixties. Tulikuwa na viwanja nyingi sana huko hiyo viwanja zivioni wa watu walichukua yote na unapata watu wa mefens no hakuna kiwanja hii ya makadara ndio ninaona huko peke yake hmm. ya makadara on jogoro hiyo yeah. ndio iko hmm. bingine vyote nafikiri watu wame vinyakua hmm? so if we had so many towns kwa hii vijana yes. wetu wawe wawe busy kwa play kucheza mpira hmm. you know you can be unaanza kukosa kwenda kwa shule Kuna vijana wengi ambaye hawajaenda shule but this mugu yake yeah. inacheza mpira mpaka una fry mpaka una fry mpaka unaona tu hii ndio kalamu yake m hmm? anaweza kuandika na hii kalamu vizuri sana mugu yake kwa kucheza mpira kama wewe hmm. kama wewe kama mimi not kama mimi kama mimi sasa nilikuwa na hakuna hata watu ambao walikuwa wanatufundisha mpira siku hizi watu wanafundishwa mpira hmm. hata wanaenda kwa kelasi wanasema ufanye hivi yeah. Tuliku, sisi, mimi nikuwa nafundiju ya mpira na nani. Mwenyewe tu. Unakiwana watu wakicheza, unasema, I want also to play like that. Natural. Eh, nataka nikieza kama. Eh, Joe, were there other players like you? Were there others in your team, that first 11? And I know we hear names, when we were growing up, there were names like Kenya 1. Lakumbuka Kenya 1. Kenya 1 ni Kijana, Wajana. Ni Kenya Juzi. 1 ni, ni Mahamud Abbas. Yes. So we used to, Abbas was a good player, but yes. Kenya one meant he was 
goalkeeper number one in Kenya. Mm. Mm. And that name came when they played probably with the Uganda, mm -hmm. Nakasebu, about three, four penalties when he was playing for Kenya. Yes. Then what I say, hey, Abbas is Kenya number one. Of course, he was Kenya number one. Yes. yes. Do you speak? What do you want to get? What do you want to I've been a manager, team manager for, for Kenabas. When they were playing for national team, I was with, I was with them. At a size, they were playing for national team. They are all my friends. JJ Masika. What I'm buying is now. Mm. Of course, I'm not my friends. I don't mm. get... I don't know what to do. What to do, JJ? Yeah, Masika, you know. Yeah, JJ, yeah, Masika, you know, you know. 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 Can you go to him? He will make them nice. Really? You know, 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 you know. Na fikiri wakati na tena wakati alikuwa na chesa aliumia kidogo. So that's why he could not be active for many years. Yes, yes. You know, aliumia. But he was good. He was good. Oh, Masika was good. Eh, hawa ndi wa striker. Munda kisema ni striker ni mm, striker. Yeah. Baga afungo. Kenda ki wanjani, you must go and go. Yes. Muna chesa mpira bila kufunga bao. Sasa nyinyi ni watu gani. Mm. 90 minutes and you are on the forward line. Wee ni mtu wambele. Uwezu kufunga bao. Then you are not a, a football. Speaking of 90 minutes, what about 90 minute man? 90 minute man, Nanan? Alan Thigo. Alan Thigo was a good midfielder. How are you doing? Tulikuwa na sema mbona wengine hawajapatika na Kenya mpaka mm. saizi. Mm. Tukekuwa na watu kama hao, hata tukefika mbadi. Tukefika? Hmm. Saizi unasikia wanasema, we haven't got kadenge. Kadenge mwingine, harijapata abasi, harijapata masiga, yeah. harijapata eh, kwa tigo, nini. Tigo, kwa kwa nini. nini. Wakina mama hawakuza watoto. Hawakuza hawijana wakucheza mpia. Mm. Wako, lakini watu wako watafuta, watoke wapi wala ambao wana wana wanaongoza wana mpira tuseme kama coaches managers you know, so, yeah. you know watafute watu kama hao mm. kwa nini i've just got a message from uh, chairman of nakada unajua nani sema nisikie honorable john mutudo si ndio unamjua mwambie sana unajua amesema mm -hmm. he's going to invite you to central ash nikwambie hata ku invite central nitampatia namba yako mm Ataku invite wende uongelesha vijana? Why not? I will go and talk to them. Hmm? Yeah. Mutudo ame, amesema? Yes. Mpe namba yangu, anipigie simu. Hmm. Hmm. An, an, Pereka sendu, niende kuzama nao. Ya. Yeah. Ingawa njini ya mchezi mpira sana. Aha. Sendu, ya mchezi mpira sana. Aha. He. Yeah. Sini likuwa mbia mimi nilikuwa nikicheza? Na zamani tulikieza na, 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 na mkora. Aha. He. Yeah. Okay. Wak kulikuwa na wengine walikuwa na hito wa home uh -huh. sijui walienda wapi uh. miaka ya 1950s uh, hmm? wa home wa home hmm? left wing wazuri wachezaji wazuri yeah. Charles Mukola lakini hamkuwa mnatoa wachezaji wengi kidogo no. kidogo tu siku hizi wako wengi ni wengi wanda cheza vizuri we have got so many players now from central and we can still make it we can still restore why not hmm? yani hamuna interest Yaani interest mnipeleka wapi? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Watu wanikuwa nasema watu wa central ukawapeleka kwa mpira, ah, mambo ya mpira wajui. Lakini siku hizi wanacheza mpira. Mm. I can see many players. Tena mm. good players. Mm. Kuna kijana mmoja anaitwa Alton Sichero Jr. Amesema I've been hearing this name ever since childhood. Today I have seen him live. Thank you bwana. This is the guy. I'm a senior, senior Joe Kadenge. Ukisikia Kadenge, huyu ndiyo senior mwenyewe. Mm? That's incredible, Joe. I mean, people just, you know, it's, it's, it's humbling. It's mm. humbling to be in your presence. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Huyu, mm. nikimuambia, mimi nikua, sijui kama yaa likuwa mezaliwa wakati nikua na cheza mpira. Ah. Kwa sababu mimi nianza kucheza mpira nikua secondary school. Wapi? Primary school. Wapi? Right? Unajua mimi, mimi, mimi natoka Western. Nilicheza mpira katika kijiji ya Soliani. In Tirik location. Huku ndio nikuwa na cheza mpira. Na nikuwa na chenga watoto wengine sana. Halafu wengine, unajua sangini ukichenga wachezaji wengine. 
wanafanya group ya kupiga sasa mm -hmm. they start beating you <laughs> kwa sababu you are too good <laughs> na wewe unawachenga sana unawachenga wote so wale watoto walikuwa wananipiga sana even there is a friend of mine yes. ambaye yuko huko ni mzee kama mimi mm. alikuwa ananichapa sana mpaka i only think of that alinichapa sana kwa sababu nilikuwa namchenga basi wakati mimi nienda primary school nilikuwa nacheza mpya sana nikitoka nyumbani on friday friday naenda shule I will go back on Monday. Yaani hizo siku Friday hiyo, Saturday, Sunday, Monday ndio wataniona. Ikiwa ni Nairobi hizo watasema labda mtu amekufa, amenyongwa, amenyongwa, amepiga risasi, amekufa. If you don't go home. Correct. Lakini mimi nilikuwa naenda nitarudi nyumbani on Monday lakini nitapata maneno. I will be beaten thoroughly with my father. Ulienda wapi? Na nilienda shule Alaf baada ya shule on on Friday watoto wananichukua naenda kucheza kwao. Na unaenda? Mimi naenda. Basi nacheza huko na wachezea. Nikirudi na rudi shule on Monday hata nyumbani hawajui namna gani ndio nitaenda nyumbani on yeah. in, in the evening. Mm. So nikasoma huko Mwanzazi primary. Kutoka huko nikaenda Musingo. Nafikiri watu wengine wanajua Musingo. Kuna Musingo kakameka. Nikasoma huko. Sasa kutoka huko nimalizia shule nilisoma mpaka form 2 form 2 ambayo ilikuwa standard 8 mm. you know sisi hatukusoma sana mm. kwa sababu ukitufika form 2 wewe unaona tu umemaliza shule umesoma umemaliza umemaliza shule yeah. na hakuna kitu umefanya hakuna na saa nyingine shule school fees ilikuwa kuna school fees your father is poor anakopa pesa ndio uende kusoma bas mimi kumaliza shule msingo nilienda wapi nienda na kuru because i was a good player yeah ikawa ukienda nakuru huko nakuru ndio uta, utapata kazi ya kucheza mpira and that was home of football in, Kakam, in, in nakuru it was home of football mm -hmm. bas mimi nikawa nimefika huko kama nina miaka ngapi 20 that's when you came to nairobi no when i went to nakuru ulikuja nairobi how old were you when i came to nakuru was in 19 nairobi was 62 so i went first from school i went i went to nakuru from nakuru from nakuru i went to Kakam i was i was taken back to na, na kakamega mm. because because they said okay. nakuru uh, is not good yeah. for that go okay. player okay joe save the rest for the book i know it's a great story and we look forward to it in two months kadinga nampira got a minute left one minute left talk to that camera over there joe just say whatever you want to say for one minute talk to whoever the president whoever you want mwangaleshe one minute haraka first of all kila naweza kusema kila yote mimi si politician si mtu wa siasa but i love my kenya mimi ningependa wa, wa, watu wetu wajaribu kutuunganisha tuwe kitu kimoja katika hii nchi yetu ya kenya kenya is our country na ha, hakuna mahali utaenda na kulete fujo katika kenya yetu hii haifai tunataka tuwe kitu kimoja we are kenyans mambo ya kusema ni mtu wa kabila gani that is out tunataka kuwa kitu kimoja na mimi ningeomba ikiwezekana kama iwezekana no problem ningependa kukaa na president tuseme naye ningependa kumsalimi yako i was playing football when he was not born so i would like to i would like to thank him because he is just like my son yes. when i was playing football you know alikuwa hajazaliwa kwa hiyo president afikira anaweza kusema ita mzee kadenge tuone naye kidogo kunye chai mm, tuje chai hata kama sinyi chai lakini mm. msalamie mm. you know unaje mimi ni mzee kwa hivyo sangine naweza kumuishi good luck you know you know mzee wetu ana anatupa good luck nina and so you know yeah. if i tell you before that yes kuna siku moja mzee moi mm. nilienda kwa ofisi yake nilikuwa na tabu sana see i kwa tabu nilikuwa na timu nilikuwa napeleka holland na ndege inaondoka siku leo usiku siku itaondoka kesho usiku na hatujapata pesa kufika huko nilikaenda kumuona ofisi yake na wakati alikuwa vice president mm -hmm. alikuwa vice president mm -hmm. akasema kadenga nataka kunionea nini huyu mzee wa mpira nataka kuniani mwambie aje kwenda kwa ofisi yake alisaidia kutoa 8000 8 hapana 80 mm. 8000 8 hiyo ilikuwa ni pesa nyingi ndugaenda kulipa kwa ndege kwa sababu tulikuwa nimeliba zingine huko fly wapi mpaka 
Holland. Mpaka Holland. So mzadi nisaidia sana. Oh. Hmm? Alikuwa anapenda tena mpira. Mzee hmm? Moi. Yes. Mzee alikuwa anapenda alikuwa anakuja kuniona nikicheza Saint Stadium. Eh? Eh. Nilikuwa na kuna lakini <laughs> alikuwa anapenda mzee alikuwa anapenda kuona ball. So <laughs> <laughs> Mimi nina ningependa kuona yeah. president. Fukai naye kidogo. Muongee tu. Yeah. Thank you Joe. Kwa sababu sasa hivi nataka kumuona yeah. watu wamekaa na yeye. Joe, let me end with this. Samuel Kiburi Thuku has said this man is a look like to Kenneth Matiba. Mhm. Amesema unafanana na Kenneth Matiba sana. Kweli? Yeah. Ah, sura yangu hii ni kweli ya Matiba. <laughs> labda labda hatuwezi kujua labda wakena eh, mama wadetebea vibaya tu. <laughs> Labda tukiuliza mama na oh, mama ndiye anaanza kuambia lakini siwezi kujua but Ken Matiba yeah. I love him good man I love and we love you Joe I love Matiba we love you Joe yes we love you yeah 0722771521 as Joe Kadenga's cell phone number give him a call yeah. better yet give him a helping hand this is I think I've got so many friends you here. do those who love me we do why yeah. can they also say help kidogo 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 so that I can stay for another one year or two years before I go to yeah. play football in heaven yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me you will be in the first 11 in heaven <laughs> hmm? Ballon d'Or in heaven yes hmm? Joe <laughs> uh, I've not pro I've not played professional football so I won't be I, I won't be in the first 11. Yes, I will be on the touchline. <laughs> on the bench. Uh, on? on the bench. On the bench in heaven. Yes. <laughs> Keep tweeting at Koinanga mm. Jeff. The hashtag is JKL. Thanks so much for being a part of this Inspiration Thursday. Let's help Joe where we can. And if he can't do if not us, someone once told me, then who? If not now, then when? Next week, new week, new show, new topic, new guests, same place, same time, right here on Kenya's television network, KTN. Keep watching, and thanks for watching. Good night, good luck. What a legend. We are still struggling, we are still walking. We are. Uh, <laughs> God is still taking care of us. Indeed.